at the end of last night's show, we had Team Cena all come together. Eric Rowan, Big Show, Dolph Ziggler, John Cena, and Ryback, who obviously finally joined the team. Predictable, but well done segment. It's pretty cool brawl to close the show. But Ryback, which I thought was interesting because they had Ryback and Triple H come across in a stare-off. And they had a stare down for a little while. Of course, John Cena put Triple H through the table at you know near the turnbuckle, whatever. Um, and Ryback and Triple H had that stare down. They did the same thing on SmackDown last week. So, Michael, ask you first: Do you think a Ryback Triple H match could be plausible for this year's WrestleMania? Uh, yeah, I actually think. Uh, yeah, I think you tweeted it last night. You know, you think you said Ryback versus uh, Triple H. Book it. Um, and I favored it. Retweeted it. I think. I, I think that would be a great, great uh, matchup. Um, I'm glad to see, you know, knock on wood. Uh, I'm glad to see his WWE kind of. Cause I'm a big fan of Ryback. I think you know I, he has the look. Um, he does has the personality. He needs to work. He needs to work on his, his mic skills a little bit. But I think he's a total package. Um, and I think that they dropped the ball with him the first time around, um, especially losing you know a, losing WrestleMania to to Mark Henry. It's kind of like the the straw that broke the camel's back, so to say. Um, so I think you know WrestleMania matchup and a win against Triple H um, would do wonders for his career. I think it would be great. So hopefully, like I said, knock on wood, they don't drop the ball uh, with the face Ryback uh, this time. But I think um, definitely something that they're teasing. They're keeping that door open, uh, like you said on SmackDown. They they kind of teased it and they they teased it last night. Um, I, it's kind of like he's kind of replaced Roman Reigns. You would have thought that Roman Reigns would have, would have faced Triple H. They've had that stare down a few times. Um, but, you know, if things go how they're saying, the low Reigns will get at Lesnar, and I think Ryback for Triple H definitely, definitely be a great matchup. You bring up a great point in the Roman Reigns and Triple H stare down, because I was thinking about this the other day, that we had that stare down between Roman Reigns and Triple H on a many of occasions, and it never led to anything. Would it have had Roman Reigns not gotten injured? Maybe. I'm not really sure. We can never really tell. But um, I just because they had the stare down doesn't mean it's going to happen. So I'm just kind of predicting here. I'm just kind of a dream booking, I guess, uh, fantasy booking here. So, I mean, it, it, is it possible maybe if they can continue to build up Ryback? I would love to see it for one thing because I think it's something new for Triple H. It would beat the hell out of seeing Triple H and Batista face each other again. I don't really want to see them face each other again. We've seen that before. Same thing with John Cena and Triple H. We've seen it a million times. I don't want to see that. So Ryback and Triple H would at least be something new. Um, but it's funny to think that Ryback was on the roster beating, what, Bo Dallas like a month ago, and now he's like on the main event of Raw, SmackDown, Survivor Series, whatever. So it's going to be interesting to see whether they continue to do right by the Ryback character and building him up as a threat to Triple H and maybe do that at WrestleMania. I'm not really sure, but I, for one, would like to see it. RJ, I want to get your thoughts on it. You're not the biggest Ryback fan, but... Could you see that happening at WrestleMania 31? Before Lesnar and Reigns was predicted, I would easily say I could see Reigns versus Triple H, but I think it's pretty much cemented that everyone believes and probably will be Reigns versus Lesnar at WrestleMania. So I think it would be something new for the big guy. but The big guy. The big guy, exactly. Um, I don't know. I just like I don't know, something about Ryback. I just doesn't like – I just don't think like – This is an wrestling ability. ability just doesn't really connect with me. Like last night's Cesaro match, I feel like Cesaro was like – kind of carrying him throughout the match and then at the end when he starts like doing all his moves like all the like, the faces do all their like five moves of doom pretty much what they all have <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah. once you start doing that like Cesaro is pretty much in control of the whole match until the end obviously but yeah. hopefully I think his mic skills have been better than they used to be I like the big guy full persona I think it's kind of funny last night when Cena was like what's up big man he goes it's the big guy I thought it was really <laughs> yeah, funny yeah. so yeah he's uh, got a personality now, exactly which is good, so yeah. hopefully they just book him right. I think the first time they kind of flopped on it. Him beating a bunch of jobbers all the time kind of like made me disinterested in the whole character to begin with. Yeah, yeah. So I could definitely see him versus Triple H at WrestleMania. I think there's. I think this year has. If all the guys come back, they have a bunch of matches they can make. A bunch of fancy bookings. I could see so many matches. I'm just thinking of right now. Yeah, we talked about a couple months ago that we could see Rock versus Triple H at WrestleMania. That might still happen. We never know. But if Rock doesn't come back and that match does not happen, I could see Ryback, Triple H, WrestleMania. I could see. So, I'm just thinking of the match right now. I can see so many. Triple H and Roman, Ryback and Roman. Yeah, like I said before, I we'll see talk Triple about H and uh, Ryback and Roman. I think if, if it's going to be him, if anyone's beating Lesnar, it better be Reigns. Yeah I, yeah, I mean, we've talked about this before, but I can't see anyone else being the guy to face Lesnar at WrestleMania. Considering, I mean, 
assuming he holds that title till WrestleMania, which I think he will better. and he should. Yeah, he better. Um, even though he's not on TV right now, that's another issue for another day. I don't blame him. But um, yeah, I also think that we could see Ryback and Triple H at WrestleMania if they can continue to do right by Ryback and by Ryback, and they don't have him lose every single pay per view match he's involved in, like he was in 2012, 2013, whatever. 